but um, sometime in January we'll work out what, what the what the show's doing uh, differently for 23. We will be going to bet, Chris and I will be going to bet the education technology show that's at the end of March um, we'll start thinking about it what, we're, what we'll be doing uh, it, it's a really great occasion I think but you get a, a wide range of technology there's several, several companies there Microsoft, Google, other ones I, I don't think Adobe or Apple will be there and there seems to be something going on with tech in the States or at least with the share prices whether that means they're going to stop spending out on promotion or innovating new new things we don't we don't know but meanwhile well what, what i'm going to suggest next week is for chris and jd keep an eye on the consumer electronics show and the, the same for our listeners it's a it's a very commercial show it's in las vegas but um Bet and other shows seem to be moved moved away from January because it's too cold. Whereas the Consumer Electronics Show, well, Vegas is quite cold. I think the snow has got everywhere uh, this this particular week or couple of weeks. But um, it's going ahead anyway. And I'm just I'm just going to play a short a short clip from Kinsey Fabrizio just a thing things to look out for can you explain to our audience today kind of how that will play out on the show floor yeah well you said it john metaverse was a big theme at ces 2022 and after major buzz over the past year we are launching a new product category at ces for web Three. Now, this will encompass technologies from the metaverse, digital assets, and blockchain. And it will be throughout the show floor and conference programming. You'll see it show up with shared, immersive, and virtual experiences, as well as the hardware associated with these categories. And I am very excited to share with you all that we are partnering with Coindesk to create a Web3 studio. And in this studio, you're going to get interviews with influential Web3 executives and voices. And you'll also get coverage of the latest cryptocurrency and blockchain news. Now, you both know most people are familiar with Web3 and the metaverse in terms of gaming, but you can see it show up in other areas at CES, like healthcare with VR medical training, in beauty to demo products, reduce product waste, which is very important, and in automotive for virtual factory planning and research and development. So, so a, a Web3 studio, sorry, I pushed up the wrong fader there, I'm getting concentrating on, on what I'm saying, blah, blah, blah. Uh, a Web3 studio, that would be quite different to a, a radio studio such as Phonic or some of the other studios in Exeter. And the, the health education aspects that's something people in extra would be interested in so i think what we're going to do is is check out what what is actually reported from ces try and make some sense of that and then work out what we can do when we go to bet and uh, find the, there's quite a lot of radio studio equipment there school radio is still active there's going to be more university people attending i think so the university level uh, studios how it, cr how it crosses over with um, recording lectures or the, the other things that are going on with online learning uh, we, don't, we don't know at the moment but we'll, we'll try and find that out as, as well so that's, that's uh, an outline of what we're, what we're thinking about for the next few, few months uh, 